Hello. Today I would like to take a video of opening up Hiroki DT4282. I think it was 4282. Yeah, 4282. And just before opening up, comparing the size of all these 60, oh, 50,000, 50,000, 60,000, and 6,000 plus 20,000 in high res mode. It looks like it's about the similar size. However, this is larger. So if I, if I take out from the holster, this is the real size without the holster. And this is does not have a holster. This is have a rubber on the side, but it, on, on top covering the uh, gray plastic. So it, it the rubber doesn't come off. This one, has a holster, the Fluke 87, Fluke 87.5, holster comes off. However, this doesn't come off, the rubber does not, does, there's no holster. However, there's a rubber on the surface of the gray plastic. So, um, it, it does has a rubber protection on the side. And it, the rotary switch, sticks up from the side however if i put this in the fluke it really doesn't stick out the the rotary switch so if it hits the ground like this it still might hit something but um at least it doesn't stick out hioki doesn't stick out 121 gw multimeter sticks out a little however uh, the size is significantly s smaller comparing others okay then i will need to open the hioki dt4282 two screws definitely this is a metal uh millimeter metal metal screws and it's it won't come off to prevent losing the screws and there's a battery here and the screw goes into the metal receiver metal, metal tap and the, the fuses yeah I need, need a screwdriver The fuses is is the yeah holy six hundred and thirty milliamp and one thousand volt. You will list it. This is also. Same brand holy 11 amp 1000 volt and there's four screws here which is holding the front cover and the back cover it's definitely a, a self tap screw for wood usage and it's there's there's two more screw here and it comes off this uh, DT42 has a longer longer s slot and the deeper groove similar to fluke 87 and does not have a rubber ring inside however it's pretty well fitted injection mold case and this is also looks japanese injection mold case the good thing good thing about fluke is you could put the hanger hanger option here 
also with the Hiyoki DT42. Um, 121GW is the same. And uh, somehow this TY720 or KEW1062 do not have any way to put the hanger I'm using on the outside at the field. Okay. And then and this is like an expensive fluke fluke multimeter. The jack is screwed on for every single jack. I'm going to take the plastic cover first. And this is metal, metal screw. It's only covering, yeah, it's, and doesn't have any sealed, doesn't have any sealed. However, the, uh, uh, the battery is uh, connected with the two contact to the PCB here. And now I need to take off these screws. How much is it? It looks like it, it looks like M5. Two screw on top. This is self-tapping screw. And is there any more screws? Nope. It came off very easily. Oh, this is the rotary switch. which is on this side and it has a little bit of grease on the side it has a little bit of grease on the side where it uh, touches with the notch and the uh, LCD looks very clean and flat however brightness contrast is Comparing to Fluke 87 or 121 GW, contrast because these two is much clearer than um, DT4282. It's not bad, but um, comparing to, this is the worst I, I, I ever s seen. It does not have a wide ang um, view angle. This has, a, this has a very wide angle for viewing. However, the contrast is not high comparing to 87.5 or 121GW and taking off the LCD any screw is to holding this LCD it does not seem to uh -huh. and it's there's a conductor conductive zebra rubber and comes off this also comes off and these are going through the pro isolation slot probably for the safety for the cat 3 and cat 4 And the good thing is, the jack is all screw um, solder to individually to the PCB, and the jack itself molded together on the front uh, front cover. So um, it's much robust and durable than have a jack separately solder to the PCB. Solder is never good at 
having a force on it always that makes a crack in the in the long run if you have if it's the connector or jack is soldered together and this design is almost i didn't i think it's almost identical with the expensive fluke 289 or 287 or 189 or 187 the jack is molded together into the front cover so, and the force will not will not reach to the PCB with the inserting and inserting and taking off uh, leads and this is the This is the wiper contact. Ah, I see. This is, this has a sealed underneath. And it's the sealed, seal is uh, soldered to two places. I mean, here, this place and this place on, and to take off the sealed, it, it requires taking off the so solder. And the contact seems to be really nice. So if I will desolder this uh, sealed can, and definitely the six screen is, uh, Seems like designed in Japan. It's it's there's a few Japanese. It says in Japan if um, two side PCB is called this side. The back side is called soldering side, and the front side uh, the uh, front side is called component side, and that's what it says. Well, honestly, in this multimeter, the soldering back side, soldering side is in Japan normally it's called the back side, is facing the front, but um, it, it doesn't matter for the manufacturing company for the who makes PCB. And the uh, IC is D D78F microcontroller. I think it's this the same as from XNEC Electronics or Renesas right now for microcontroller. I removed the solder holding the sealed on the PCB with the three places. And this time I was careful not to damage the PCB, the pad on the PCB. And yes, aluminum sealed on this side. And almost nothing on the back side. Or front side. <laughs> front side from the multimeter. Seems one mic uh, one microcontroller. I uh, 16 bit NEC microcontroller. D78F1518 DT4282 the, the design of the um, front end looks much much reasonable as if it's opening up with 875 with many isolation slot and no strange track and it has a little bit of a grease on the surface. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's good. It, probably the grease on the surface of the wiper contact might make the contact last longer. However, it might reduce the cat rating safety. However, the pad on the contact, a rotary switch, it's very large, thick and large. And there's no via in the middle of the pad where the wiper con uh, contacts. And is this gas tube d discharge? GD GDT? Protection resistor and PTC? And this is clamping diode, probably. Okay, thank you.